Are you getting ready to take the Praxis Elementary Education Curriculum Instruction and Assessment Exam, otherwise known as the Praxis 5017? If so, then maybe I can help. My name is Bob and I'm a test prep expert with study.com and I'm here to give you my top 10 tips for passing the exam. All right, let's jump in. My first tip is to understand the test format. In order to succeed, you'll need to understand the structure of the test to manage your time effectively. The Praxis 5017 exam includes 120 multiple choice questions, which the exam calls selected response and gives you 130 minutes to answer all of them. Allocate enough time to read and understand each question thoroughly before answering. Read the test instructions carefully and review sample questions and practice tests before test day. If you need more guidance for what to expect on the exam, take a look at our Praxis 5017 exam overview video. For my second tip, review the question categories. The exam covers five categories with a wide range of content areas, which includes reading and language arts, mathematics, science, social studies, and art, music, and physical education. Review each content area thoroughly and consider creating flashcards, outlines, or concept maps to organize key concepts and information. And if you happen to have prior experience in the elementary education field, Consider referencing old textbooks, online resources, or study guides to ensure you relearn everything you need to know. My third tip is to figure out your areas of weakness. The Praxis 5017 exam covers four different content areas and chances are you won't be equally skilled in each one. For instance, your math abilities might be strong, but it's been a while since you thought about music in an educational context. Or maybe you don't know what areas you need to improve on. That's okay. You can look up subject assessments online to figure out your strengths and weaknesses, consult old materials, or take practice tests, which happens to be my fourth tip. Practice tests can be great diagnostic tools to figure out where you need to improve. Try to simulate the exam environment as much as possible. Take the test under time conditions to mimic the pressure of the actual exam and improve your time management skills. If you need a starting point to find practice materials, I recommend study.com's Praxis 5017 Elementary Education Curriculum Instruction and Assessment Prep course. It covers everything you need to know in as much detail as you need. The course is even written and vetted by former teachers, includes short form videos for every relevant concept, and gives you a bank of high quality practice questions with answer explanations. For my fifth tip, if you're finding yourself struggling with one of the content categories, seek additional resources. Don't limit yourself to the Praxis exam's official study materials. There's a wealth of resources out there to help you pass the exam, such as third-party textbooks, tutoring services, study groups, and yes, full curriculum like study.com's Praxis 5017 prep course. Different resources may offer unique perspectives or explanations that resonate with your learning style. Seek out resources that complement the way you learn. For my sixth tip, review standards and curriculum. Reacquaint yourself with relevant national and state educational standards, as well as common elementary school curriculum. Those standards, such as the National Council of Teachers of Mathematics guidelines, will outline the knowledge, skills, and competencies that students in your classroom should achieve, and the curriculum will tell you how they'll get there. Think about how these standards will inform how you teach certain subjects to your own students. My seventh tip relates to when you're taking the exam. Even though you're on a timer, don't forget to slow down and read the questions carefully. Most of the selected response questions will ask you to look for an answer that fits a description. However, some questions reverse this formula. They ask you to look for the answer choice that does not fit. In other words, all the answer choices except for one of them fits the description given in the question. Look out for these types of selected response prompts that usually include the word not, least, or except. You may also encounter words that you're not familiar with, such as recursive or inferential. Look for context clues from both the question and the answers and trust your gut. Afraid of going it alone? Don't be afraid to seek feedback, which happens to be my eighth tip. Others who have taken the exam or taught elementary education before can give you valuable insight that no test prep material could even hope to give you. Share your study materials, practice your responses, 
Bounce your teaching reflections off of others and receive constructive feedback on your progress. Find fellow test takers and engage in discussions, workshops, or study groups with them to exchange ideas, share resources, and collaborate on preparation strategies. Of course, there's always my ninth tip, staying organized. You'll need a structured study plan to organize your study materials and manage your preparation time effectively. Break down the content areas into manageable chunks, allocate a specific amount of time to each area, and experiment to find out what workload per day works best for you. Use modern studying techniques like the Pomodoro method, online calendars, and study schedules to map out your sessions and track your progress. Set realistic goals and milestones to keep yourself motivated, maintain a tidy study space, organize your study materials, and minimize distractions. Finally, my 10th tip is to stay calm and confident. You got this. Arrive at the testing center early so you don't need to rush check-in procedures and can familiarize yourself with the testing environment. Take deep breaths. Use relaxation strategies like the popular 478 breathing technique to manage test anxiety and maintain focus before the exam. During the exam, read each question carefully and consider all options before you select your answer. Trust your knowledge, skills, and preparation and your gut as you work through the exam questions. You've worked hard and you're more than ready to take on the Praxis 5017 exam. That's it. Of course, this isn't an exhaustive list of test prep tips. And different people get ready for exams in different ways. Don't forget about Study.com's Praxis 5017 Elementary Education Curriculum, Instruction, and Assessment Prep Course. Not only will you get access to all those amazing resources I mentioned earlier, test takers who have used the course also have a 92% pass rate. If this video helped you, please like it and drop a comment down below with any questions you have about the exam. Also, to get the latest on Praxis test tips, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to get alerted when we upload new content. We're more than confident that you'll soon be one of those who pass the Praxis and that you'll be on your way to becoming an excellent teacher. We hope these tips helped. We'll see you around.